Hi everyone, welcome back to the Montessori Dictionary. And today I'd like to talk about the term, the absorbent mind. Now, I think this is one of the greatest gifts that Dr. Montessori gave us because it gives us so much insight as to how a little child's mind works. The absorbent mind refers to a child's mind during the ages of zero to six. And just like a sponge, the child is absorbing all the information that they're exposed to during these early years. When you think of a sponge, you put it into water and it just soaks up the water, right? That's how your child's brain is in the golden years. You expose them to a rich environment full of wonderful experiences and they will soak all of that in. And all of this forms the basis of their personality. Now think about it this way for a minute, okay? Children are born all over the world in different countries, in different cultures, and everywhere that they are, in their homes, they are picking up their language, they are learning in what context to use, what kind of words, they are picking up accents and intonations and meanings of these words without any kind of effort. It happens so easily, it happens so effortlessly, whether they are Indonesian, whether they are Italian, whether they are Chinese. They are adapting to their culture through this absorbent mind, through everything that they absorb. Now imagine us at our age, if we had to learn a new language, we'd have to listen to podcasts, we'd have to read books, we'd have to go for classes, and even then, we wouldn't be able to master it and use the correct you know, accents and the correct tones when we are speaking, learn the slang and things like that in the kind of, uh, with the kind of speed, with the kind of fluency and efficiency that a young child does it. Isn't that magnificent? Doesn't it make you realize how amazing the young child's mind really is? Now there are two stages to the absorbent mind. From zero to three, we call it the unconscious stage of the absorbent mind. And from three to six, it is the conscious stage of the absorbent mind. So what is the difference? From zero to three, everything they absorb, they're doing it unconsciously. Whatever is around them, they don't make a choice to take it in. They take in whatever is there. Whereas when they get to the conscious mind stage, now they're making choices about what they want to take in. Let's look at it this way. Have a look at these two pictures, all right? One is a photograph of a cat. The other one is an artist's drawing of a cat. In the first picture, it is exactly as a real cat is. There is a background, the colors, the characteristics of the cat. But when we look at the second image, which is the drawing, this is the artist's, uh, the artist's concept of what the cat is. He has put in what he wanted to into this image. This is how the unconscious and the conscious minds work. In the unconscious stage, children are taking things exactly as they are. They don't make any decisions or choices. Things are as they are. But when it comes to the conscious stage from three years onwards, then they pick and choose what it is that they want to take in and what it is they want to absorb. Let me give you a little example. Um, I have a nephew and when he was younger, he came over to my house to play. And as he was there, he found a little broom and he started to do some sweeping. Now, you know, he swept here and he swept there in the corners. And then I saw him do something very peculiar. He went to the bed and he lifted up the bed cover and he started to sweep under the bed. Now at this time, he was only about 18 months old. This is not something that somebody taught him that, you know, when you sweep a bed, you've got to lift the bed cover and sweep under. Obviously he had seen this and his absorbent mind had taken that in, had soaked it in, and he was able to reproduce that. And he was able to do the same action. He didn't, you know, make a choice that, well, I don't really need to sweep. I'm not going to sweep under a bed ever. He didn't choose that this is something he wants to absorb or not. It just went there. 
all right? But later, when they get to three to six years, between these, these uh, ages, that's when they make choices and they decide, this is what I want to learn with. Uh, learn about and they will go up and pick certain activities they will choose certain experiences that they want to learn from so this is the difference between the unconscious and the conscious mind so again i say that this is a real gift that dr maria montessori has given us because it allows us now to understand how our child's mind works and in this way we can create a very rich environment for them with experiences that are going to satisfy their curiosity and give them wonderful learning experiences that will help to build their personality. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the absorbent mind. And if you did enjoy this, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single video. I look forward to seeing you again. If you have questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments box. And until we meet again, have a beautiful day.